Hey, what's up YouTube? Mike from Mass. Mass Aquariums here, and in tonight's video, I was lucky enough to have a company contact me and allow me to get a bunch of free stuff. They're gonna send me a bunch of their products to unbox and test out, and I love doing that kind of stuff. I love testing things out. So, in tonight's video, I'm going to unbox it, and we'll see what it is. And let's put it to use. Stay tuned. So I actually know what the product is because they told me what they were sending me to start. But we can unbox this here. It's packaged very carefully. Lots of a couple suction cups here. I'll just rip right through this. And we have two of these. And what they are is they're little glass cups that you can make almost a tiny little aquascape in. And these are great to stick on your windows outside if you can put some air plants in them, succulents, or you can put them inside your tank, attach them to the glass, put a little aqua soil in them and plant some plants. So these are really cool. They came really nicely boxed. I love the shape, how they're angled like this. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unbox some plants that I got from my good old trusty planted aquarium central, which I haven't got plants from them in a long time since I've met so many new people like Justin and Han and Mike from uh, Green Oasis and H2O Plants and Han Aquatics that I've been getting plants from, but I always used to get plants from Planted Aquarium Central, so I got a package for them, and uh, we're going to put these in the tank and see what happens. So, stay tuned. So, so what we're going to do here is get some of the, uh, I have some Caribsea aqua soil, samurai soil, and some of this dwarf hair grass, uh, comes in beautiful, really nice and green, super awesome root system. I'm going to take this out of this little pot and trim up some roots and I'm going to plant these, this dwarf hair grass in these two little cups. And I'm going to place them in one against the window to see if I can get this dwarf hair grass to grow immersed. And one inside my tank, um, and we'll see what it looks like. So let's get that show on the road.
Sorry for the music in the background, folks. That's the kids watching the TV. This beautiful beta swimming in the current. He knows where to go when he wants out. So this is what I've done with this first one is cupped it right to the side of the 40 breeder with some dwarf hair grass and some aqua soil. And we'll watch this grow out and it'll be cool to see the roots fill up this uh, container. I can't wait to see how good this aqua soil works too. But this is really cool. You can pretty much put whatever you want in it. And I did one other thing with the other one that I wasn't going to do. But I said, hey, this will be pretty cool. So let's go check that out. So what I did with this one, get that glare out of there, is I said, you know what? Let's put it in the salt water tank, right? We'll frag some GSP, which I just did. And it's already starting to uh, pop back out. For anybody who doesn't know, GSP is Green Star Polyps. Um, sort of like the easiest carpet plant for saltwater aquariums ever, except it's a coral. But, so we put this second cup in the 13.5 gallon Evo with a frag of GSP, and it'll slowly grow all around the inside of this cup. And I think it'll actually look sweet, especially like when you look from the top, the whole inside should be filled. So I've always experimented with this tank anyway. I'm about to add some uh, rock flower anemones that I got a package coming from OSA down in uh, Rhode Island. And this will be a cool little project here to see the GSP completely cover this glass. So I'll post a link in the description of where you can get these little cups and you can do a whole mess of things with them. They're really cool, good design, glass, suction cups well, and uh, go get yourself some and experiment. I'm out.